Hi, and welcome back. Previously, we saw how to create events. Many of them follow a strict schedule with talks and roundtables in various locations at different times and with different durations. For that, we'll see how to create tasks to organize Stealthy Woods Showcase agenda. For interesting speakers or topics, talks are a great way to attract more people and increase our event's success. Stealthy Woods Showcase will also be an opportunity for partners to speak about their company, promote their work, and even attract their own attendees. So I need to be sure to provide enough information about my agenda so my visitors know what awaits them. Here's an overview of what your talks and agenda could look like if you have many contributors. Now you have a clear picture of why it's essential to take advantage of this feature. With Odoo, I can also add an additional form so people can suggest speakers. Doing this could attract even more attendees and give the event more credibility. It'll also strengthen the relationships Stealthy Wood has with its partners and the community. So let's see how this is done in Stealthy Wood's database. All right, here we are on my database, specifically looking at the events application. I'm gonna go straight to configuration settings. And from the settings page, we're gonna activate the option schedule and tracks. Now, once you've done this, let's go back to the events dashboard and select one of the events we've already created. So I'm gonna choose handmade furniture showcase. All right, but before I change anything, I just wanna show you quick, quickly what it looks like on my website right now. Okay, so let's go to the website. Okay, I'm going to be redirected to my main page where my attendees, my potential attendees, can register. All right, and then we can quickly go back to the back end, just like that. And we're going to then edit and select this option, website menu, and also tracks on the website, and then click on save. Now, once we have saved this option, let's go back to the front end to see what has changed. So we're going to go back to our website. And I'm going to see in the menu that I have a few other options now. Okay, so I have an intro for my event. I can look at the talks, location, agenda, and of course, people can register for the event as well. Now, I'm going to see this warning message at the moment, no tracks found. That's normal. We haven't created any yet, so let's do that right now. We're going to jump back to the back end. And we're going to click on this smart button tracks. Okay, once we've done that, we will click on create. Okay, and uh, this is just going to be a talk from one of my partners, um, uh, Azure Interior specifically. So let's go ahead and say presentation of um, Azure Interior. Okay, and then I can add all of the information um, for this talk. All right, so let's add the track date. So of course, it's going to be during the event. So let's choose a time as well. Let's say at five o'clock. Okay, we can choose a specific room. We can even create an edit if we would like to. If we know um, where the event will be located, of course, we should also have a list of the rooms, which we can add here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one. We can choose the duration. So let's say one hour. Okay, we have a responsible and we also have the event, which let's say I uh, went to create a track for this event, but um, it was a mistake. I meant to do uh, this for another event. I can change it right here. Okay, so it saves you some time. We can also add tags. And then we can go ahead and add the speaker information. Okay, so as I said, this is going to be one of our partners. So it's actually going to be Colleen Diaz from Azure Interior. Okay, and I can also add a description. Yay for this presentation. And then save. Now let's go ahead and create a second one. I don't have to go back uh, to the Kanban view. I can just click on create right here. All right, and I'm gonna call this um, how it's made. Of course, we have a track date, very important. Okay, and let's say this is going to be at six o'clock. All right, this will be for only 30 minutes, so we can change that duration here. Again, responsible and event. Let's go back to the speaker information. All right, I'm gonna choose Nicole Ford this time. And since I do already have Nicole Ford uh, saved as a contact, all of her information is automatically populated here, which is super convenient for me. So I don't have to manually add it in every time. So I have her name, her email, her phone number, and even a biography. All right, and let's add another description. This uh, will be the best 
presentation ever. And then we're going to save. All right. Now, as we can see, these are just proposals, but I can go ahead and confirm this simply by switching the stage here. All right, I can even check it out on the website by clicking on the go uh, to website button. All right, so here I am looking at uh, Nicole Ford's talk. Okay, so I have that description that I added and I have all of this information about the speaker. So I can go ahead and modify this right away. I can even add building blocks to this page just like that if I would like to, but we do talk about that more in the website's videos, so be sure you check them out. So let's go ahead and save this the way it is, and we're going to go back to the back end. All right, so once we're here, we're going to um, go back to our events tracks. And so right now, as you can see, um, I'm looking at this in the Kanban view. Now, first of all, I don't have any filter, so I'm not looking uh, for a specific event, but I can always group by a specific event if I would like to. Okay, and something that's really cool here is the Gantt view. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. Okay, I'm looking at what's scheduled today, which is nothing, but we can go ahead and look by week. I'm just going to jump ahead to that week in November where I know I have um, scheduled some talks. Okay, and I can see those right here, and I can even from this view, click on it and edit it just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, remove this description, save. And then I can check it out on the website just like that. So it's really easy to um, go back and forth from the front end um, back to the back end if you're editing uh, your tracks, which saves you a ton of time and is super convenient. Okay, and we even have our agenda from the front end. So this is what um, your attendees will be referring to. All right, so... I see that uh, I have How It's Made by Nicole Ford here and also a presentation of Azure Interior. All right, and since I am um, the admin or a user, an internal user of this database, I can see that this actually is unpublished. So maybe I wanna go ahead and publish it. So I'm gonna click here and click on publish, just like that. Again, everything is so easy. So now what we're gonna do Let's actually, again, go back to the back end, and we're going to activate even another option. All right, so let's go back to our event. Okay, whoops, not our attendees, our event. Click on edit, and we're also going to allow people um, to make talk proposals, okay, or track proposals on the website. So I'm going to select this option and click on save. Now, once I do that, I can go to the website, and I'm going to see a new menu item right here, talk proposals. All right, so let's go ahead and apply for one. So let's say the talk title is uh, why my company is the best. Okay, then you can add an introduction, speakers names, and other information. Okay, speaker's phone. We have all this information that we will need to propose the talk. And submit proposal, just like that. Okay, that's really easy. And then when we go back to the back end of the events, we're gonna be able to um, manage that proposal. So we go to our event, we go to the tracks, and I see that proposal right here, why my company is the best, and then I can go ahead and modify it and populate the rest of the information. Okay, I can refuse it, I can cancel it, I can publish it right here. So anyone can uh, propose a talk if they're interested. And it's also a good way for me to uh, stay connected with my community and who is interested in being part of my event. So as you can see, it's super easy to manage uh, your tracks and agenda right here from the events application. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.